We've got to press on toward the goal. The upward call of God in Christ Jesus. We've got to press on. So we need to recover more in our personal lives. You go outside of that to our families. How many of you are satisfied with where every family member you have is? Spiritually. I'm talking about with God. How many of you are satisfied with where every single one of your family members are? Any of you? See, See we need to have something in us that says, I won't stop. I won't stop until I recover all. Amen. I won't stop until I recover all. The promise of God is that when we're saved, all of our household will be saved. Yeah. You see, I'm not just thinking about what's going to happen while I'm alive. I'm thinking about what's going to happen to my children's children. I'm thinking about what's going to happen to my children's children's children. And I understand that the line that I'm holding now has more to do with them than it does with me. I understand that I'm recovering ground that's going to affect generations, third and fourth generations down the line. You see? And it's not about me. It's not just about me. But I'm standing up for what's going to happen down the road. I'm standing up for what's going to happen for my grandchildren. What's going to happen for my great-grandchildren? The garrison of the Philistines is camped in our home. There needs to be an unsettling in us. As long as the enemy has set up a camp in what is rightfully ours. There needs to be an unsettling in us. A longing. Something in us that says, I want what's mine. I want what's rightfully mine. See, I think we get too comfortable with just doing church, man. I just tell you. Yeah. I just tell you right, right up. I, I'm guilty. I'm not preaching at you. I'm telling you, I think we get, we just get satisfied. We get tired and we get weary and 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 and, and we get all those things and we get satisfied and we forget. We forget that there's areas of ground that still need to be taken. They need to be recovered. See, we've got corporate ground to take back here. If you're part of this church and you know that God has planted you in this church, then let me tell you something. He planted you here for a purpose. He planted you here to enter into agreement with us in spiritual warfare and take back and fill the vacuum that is right here in this zip code. You see, we, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We're in a spiritual war. And, every, and God has called us. He's called us and He set us right here. He called us and moved us out of an area we've been for 20 years. And brought us into this area. And gave us a word and said, go forth and recover all. And see, that's got to get in us as a body here. You know, when I, when I drive down the road and I see the signs of poverty and addiction and, 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 and the little kids that aren't being fathered and, 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 you know, in this zip code, something happens in my heart. Something goes on in my heart. Something rises up in me. Something comes up in me that is, you know, it's not just, oh, I wish it was better down here. Yeah. 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 Man, I wish these little children had a daddy. You know, I wish I had a bunch of money where I could just fix it all for them. Uh-uh. No, no. Something rises up in me. It's called the authority of the most holy God. And because I know that I am called according to His purpose, and because I know that the apostolos, the sent one anointing, is on me, the breaker anointing, is on me to lead a people, to lead a people into a place of breakthrough. So we break through the heavenly cloud, the darkness that is over this area. And we break through it, and there's open heavens over the 75217. Where the people here can worship God with the fruit of the kingdom of God, which is righteousness, peace, and joy 
in the Holy Spirit until that happens. I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. Something in me is yearning in me. And see, we gotta get we gotta get that in us. We gotta get it in us. See, when we're tired and discouraged, there, there, there needs to be an unrest in our hearts until the ground is recovered. And, 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 and we, we need to not allow ourselves to become complacent and, and, and get to a place where, where, where there's nothing there, where there's nothing in us that's, that's agitated. I get agitated. I mean, it agitates me. Come on with it, God. Come on. And if we're not in that place where something in us says, you know what? I know that, 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 that the lives of my children, I know that this zip code, I know that this area belongs to you. And we've got to get to that place where something in us says, says you know what? I'm not going to stop until I recover all when we're tired and discouraged. Weary and worn and beat up from the fact. So we've got to realize that it's not about us. Let me tell you how to fix that. Just get your perspective right. Get your, you know, I, I get that way. Oh, God. 24 years. Oh, man, is it ever going to change? Is it ever going to get any easier? Is it ever going to get any better? I get tickled sometimes. Young disciples around here will ask me, well, how long is it before it starts to ease up a little? <laughs> So it gets a little better. It's not quite so hard. Let me tell you something so you'll know corporately. Let me just tell y'all. It doesn't get easier. It gets harder. Because the more ground we gain, the more authority we get, the bigger the fight, the bigger the battle, the bigger the responsibility. And it gets harder. Yes. Now, his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Yeah, yeah. But the challenges get harder. You see, the only time it's hard to carry the cross is, is when we're carrying it in our own strength. Yeah. He'll take the burden off of us when we'll give it to Him. You see, and He's the one that does the work. But the challenges keep getting greater. And the tests keep getting bigger. You know why the tests keep getting bigger? Because He wants our faith to keep getting bigger. Amen. And the way He stretches our faith and the way He causes us to grow is by putting things in front of us that makes us step out in faith bigger than we ever have before. So it just keeps getting greater. But until we get to that place where all is recovered, then we've got to realize that it's not about us. It's about reclaiming the land. I had a guy the other day that was ready to quit. And I said, oh, really? So what about your daughter? You ready to quit, huh? Get your mind off yourselves, what you need to do. Yeah. What about that little girl whose hope is rising right now? Who not too long ago was hopeless about ever having any kind of man of God for a daddy. Or any, ever having a father that would cover her and stand up for her and raise her and, and protect her and fight for her. Yeah. What about that little girl who just a little while ago didn't have any hope at all and now all of a sudden her little hope is rising? Now all of a sudden she's starting to say, man, my God might really do something for my daddy. And my daddy might really be a daddy to me. You need to get your mind off yourself. And you need to think about that little girl. And you need to find. It's not about He's called us to hold the land for our children. You know, we want to quit. We want to fall off. We want to quit. We want to go back. It's too hard. Somebody didn't say something just right to me. It didn't feel good the way they talked to me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 